Let's get it. AD just came home to his skeleton. <laughs> Come on, right. man. Let's Shark, get it. did you see this? Roof, roof. Bro, you fucked up in the head, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the one I wanted to talk about, too. Perfect. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. So. Here's a four-minute clip. Let me break it down real quick. Day after Thanksgiving. 27th. Yeah. Right? It's the 27th. Right. Okay. Like It's a morning November flight. November 27th. Odell Beckham Jr. gets on the flight. Mm -hmm. He had been clubbing all the night before. I think he didn't sleep. Like, he went straight to the airport. Was still off Molly. Passes the fuck out on the plane. Crashes. They're telling him, hey, you have to put your seatbelt on. We can't, like, leave until your seatbelt's on. They're trying to wake him up. Nothing. Completely unresponsive. At points, they've said that his pants kept falling down, too, and he, like, was kind of just like a mess. Uh, the police came on, tried to get him to respond, like gave him one last opportunity to get like, his shit together. Nope, they canceled the whole flight. Mm. Like, all these people got to get up and get off. On his way out, I think some woman was made a comment to him, and he says back to her, I'm going to be on a private jet after this. You guys are going to be waiting for your next flight for the next couple hours. So he ruins all of their flights, gets his flight canceled, and then tells them to fuck off. I'm going to go take a PJ. That's scandalous. That's kind of scandalous. What are your thoughts, Sharp? You should have took a private plan from the beginning. Okay. Don't fuck don't fuck people shit up like that, bro. Like, and you know, shout out to Odell, OBJ, but like in all in all, bro, not everybody got money like you, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Some people trying to move around. That was the last for their holidays, man. You know, they trying to get to their loved ones too. You know what I mean? Gotta get so, back to work. It's right. right. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, hot. You ruined the plane for me. You Somebody jerk. about going to jet. We got to get out. I don't know <laughs> if he was upset from, you know, not getting put on a team because he was on the injured list. But, you know, you can stop. Hey, bro, don't don't be mad at the world, bro. Well, you I know? think this kind of might have gone towards one of the reasons he didn't get put on a team either. Yeah. Is he people like he's not a locker room dude. But also, no, no, he's he's definitely not a locker room. And, he's, and then and then even when he was with the Giants. People have said that yeah, he's he kind would, of an asshole. And I don't want to be the person who's pointing this out, but this does kind of look like asshole behavior, doesn't it? No, no, he, yeah. for what he did right here was be hella selfish and kiddish and shows his character. Because somebody like a LeBron could never do this. He's rich Some, as fuck. LeBron could do it too. He, let, let me, I'll tell you this. LeBron's wouldn't have made it out. Think about it. LeBron, if 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 LeBron did that, I don't believe that it would have made it to to the mainstream like that. This no, is LeBron so. we're talking about, it bro. Would, that shit would have been overlooked, like what they would, do to LeBron. LeBron also wouldn't put himself in the position. I was just going to say, saying, that's, LeBron would have paid for everybody's tickets. For sure. I do believe that he would do something like that, Le, something to that magnitude, or like a PJ like, for everybody. No, nah, maybe not. No, to that's that, a lot. Not to that magnitude, but he would have helped try to like whoever was on the plane with him. He would have tried to help that situation. Out. No, no, no. I don't know about what you're saying. Everything's adding up for OBJ. He's on the injury list. He can't play. He signed a crypto deal with Rams, which kind of, kind of, probably went to shit. And because what's funny is because um, the Bills, because I believe he went to the Bills and he went to the Giants, and they knew about his injuries, but they didn't put it out. He went to my team, to the Cowboys, Jerry Jones, and them like put it out, like no, he's hurt. It kind of like blasted him out. Who did OBJ? Uh, they did it to OBJ, yeah. Like they talked about his injuries, you know, which once that kind of spreads, now it's kind of like, oh, well, Other shit. teams don't want to. We don't want to sign him because we we need him to get healthy first. You Real give a shit. person all that money and he sits on the bench for what? Jerry Jones ain't into that shit. So I feel like there's a lot going on with him right now mentally to where like, you know, being a, a, a high profile star in the NFL, you know, and not being able to get a job. You know, I don't think it's necessarily the money for him. He just wants to get back to work. Real shit. You he's know? frustrated. He's frustrated yeah, right it's now. It's a frustration homie. move. And especially, and especially, but this is saying that a passenger looked at him and he got mad at all of them just for looking at him. Well, no been, shit. You're the center just, of attention right now. You're fucking on my flight. I'm trying to go home. I've been here since the morning. I got here three hours late just so your junk ass can fuck off and then shit on me for having, yeah, I'm a stare so at that you means, piece of that shit. that means that, that, they they was on there enough to where they they probably tried to remove him, but because of his celebrity, they were like, ah, we don't want to move him, and they missed they it and canceled the whole flight. Every the opportunity, they tried to wake him up. They're like, you just need to put your seatbelt on. That we lady can't right leave there, until you put your seatbelt on. That's scandalous. She don't even look like she knows who he is. Half the people that are on that plane probably they're no, just they looking don't, at him they as don't another know. irate black guy. When you're on a plane, you don't give a 
fuck who else is on it other than you just want to get to where you want to get to your destination. And especially in first class, they're probably either that yeah. as rich, and this is like a huge place, so I'm assuming it was a long flight. Mm -hmm. They're either as rich or probably richer and don't give a fuck. No, in that front, you got people like, in the motherfucking back. In the back, that's yeah. the first, first, first class right there, so that's the front of the plane, like yeah, with yeah. the beds and no, shit. No, that's what I'm saying. It looks like it may have been Delta, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know Delta be laying down, either Delta or American. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. These This flight right here, these people that are around him don't give a fuck, and if they do care, it's like, bro, shut the fuck up. And he's talking about, I'm gonna be on a PJ, and we'll. Be. Can you play the video for us? Can we mm -hmm. play the footage for us and the viewers? But only to the part because there's no point of. We're gonna wait 40 minutes, and I'm gonna be on a private plane home. Good. That was unnecessary. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Oh. <laughs> that, that was a funny old ass man. That yeah. wasn't cool. You okay? What's wrong? He for sure know who he is. The airline's called for you, sir. I don't know what it is. You good? How you doing, bud? I'm not thinking we don't know responsive, but they're trying to get to a man's physical approach. He's probably on a deep sleep. You know where you're at, sir? Okay. Where's the baby's pants? Where's the baby's pants? You can tell she's fed up with him at this point. I think that's gonna like like she's yeah. calling him a baby. She's like, calling him a baby. Howdy. Yeah, but you don't gotta antagonize him. She was probably no, doing that from right. the beginning though. Okay. We didn't catch that part of it. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Nah, nah, nah. Look. So go back to her. She said that in very, very sarcastic yeah. frustration. Yeah, she said, where's the baby's pants? Go back. Go back. We're good. Yes. Yeah. We're good. No. Okay. Go back. Go back, Frank. Okay. okay. Go back. Go back. We're good. And he's taking stuff. He just responded to Shit, I know how you feel. You come. You be lit as hell leaving the club. Yeah, but you're not. Hey, you be on. defeated on that motherfucking plane coming back. Yeah, but you're not there giving them attitude. It's not their fault. Oh, okay, hell no. Okay, 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 okay. I, I got something to say about this. And, and this is to all the airlines. I get that, you know, there's protocol. I get that shit. But let's be honest. And we're all on the ground when we can say this, all right? There's no seat belt that's going to save you when that plane crashes. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, there's nothing that like th that seat belt is just for mental comfort. It's not really to do anything. It's not gonna. It's not gonna save you, man. Airlines have really strict protocols, though. It's like you have to follow them or else they legally can't. They're going to get in trouble if you don't do it. You know what I mean? Very true. I'm and just like saying that's, if trouble. they don't check that you have a seatbelt on and they do, you do get in a crash, then they are liable for, you know, X and, amount more. It's and, like they're and, covering all these bases. That what are you liable have for? To, I'm dead. No, but and think about it. I'm dead. I think there's, there's, I'm not going to be injured. I there's plane a, crashes. That people survive. So imagine not having your seatbelt on. You just flying around here. But also I'm even sure. turbulence. Like people will fly out of their seats and like hit their necks or you know bend their necks and all the mm -hmm. shit happens. happens. Yeah. I don't know. I'd be kind of relaxed. I'd be off drinks, so I just kind of go with the flow. <laughs> I feel that shit. My body <laughs> just goes with it. Is this? A, you ever notice? You ever notice this? Like you ever notice uh, a lot of drunk people survive car accidents? Real bad. Because you're loose. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you're loose. So I get on the plane kind of loose. Like shit. Hopefully this can help me through the turbulence or through the. Wait. But it, all jokes aside, I just don't see a seatbelt. It, what's it gonna do? No, what I know, does I know, it, what, I know, if the motherfucker really, going down, you out of here. What does it really do? Like, I can understand, like, a car accident. They tell you, like, yeah, seatbelts do save lives yeah, in cars. Yeah, that yeah. is very true. I wear my seatbelt in the car I, constantly. You, I never try to act like I'm too cool not to wear a seatbelt. But when it goes to being up in the air, like, what the fuck am I going to do 20,000 feet up, descending as fast as possible? You're thinking about worst case scenario, though. I'm thinking they're, about they're my thinking Worst case scenario. They're, they're, thinking, about they're, th fucking seat they're thinking about turbulence, you know, something random might happen where the whole, the whole plane jolts or goes up and down and then you fly out of your seat and land on someone else you well know, then some we'll worry about that lawsuit when it seat. comes yeah. but other than that i mean I, I mean i wouldn't trip because i know it's on me but bro like people start putting seat belts on when they feel that term it's like oh shit let me it's natural it's a natural thing man still, i don't, I don't know i'm used to having my seat belt on when i'm i don't on have the plane. a seat belt on on the plane i fly a lot i don't either D but i'm not telling you what airlines i get on either <laughs> i'll tell you the ones i fuck with I really don't. Like, I'll go like this. Like, I'll just be sitting there acting like I'm doing yeah. something, man. I'm just more comfortable. I like to kick my feet up. I like to chill. I like to kick get my the feet rope, up. Get the rope by myself. 
you know, kind of that's the best when you get the roll by but yourself. But let me ask you this, Josh. I'm asking you. What does, and because I know you can give me transparency like a motherfucker here. What does a seatbelt do for you on the airplane? Honestly, what what will it do as in safety precautions? I think what Yuri said during turbulence is going to keep you in your seat rather than potentially you can hurt yourself in turbulence. banging your head or shoulder or neck let's, on the let's roof. Or even window. when you even let's when say, you're taking yeah. off. Let's say the plane right. goes. Let's say the plane goes down. But what what does it do then? That's a different scenario. No, it's but nothing. but. Yeah. But it's going to keep you impacted. But they, it's going to p- p- lessen the potential that you're going to be thrown around inside the plane. So, so at least probably, my family can find my body. Some people do. Much. Some people the, do yeah. survive plane crashes. And you don't want to be that one person. Have you ever talked to anybody that has? flew out? Once <laughs> no, <in> the- I haven't. <laughs> you ever see like something like Lost or something where the plane breaks lost, in half uh-huh. and they s- you get sucked right out the plane? Oh, well, well, I don't think that. Wait, the, yeah. The famous drummer guy, Travis Barker. Travis Barker survived a gnarly plane crash. And DJ AM. This shit was crazy where he survived the plane crash and and then apparently he like jumped into a, a like a pool of fucking burning oil and half his body or like 70 percent of his body got burnt and shit. what's the odds of that story ever he's being still told alive twice? he's still alive yeah. okay but what's the odds of somebody ever telling that oh, story you said travis yes. barker yeah. that happened to him Honestly. no 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 but even like even like this right you know how when for you know how when they tell you if the plane crashes, i would never go on a plane again but look but look, but look. He does. no he just Um, I would Courtney. never get on a plane again. No, no, mm-hmm. but you guys gotta think about it like this. Like even when, for like even when planes tell you like to duck your head and grab your neck when like if we're going down, that's just another way of breaking your spine. If people didn't know that, wow, that's, that's another way of breaking your spine. Doing so they don't this? have to deal that's with a lawsuit spirit. if you do survive. So if you do survive, they don't deal with a lawsuit. It's damn it. Are you kidding me, bro? Look that shit up. That's I swear to God, I've never heard this in my life. You bro, do look, this so that you dive completely. No, because you're the way the way your body is. Most likely with the impact. No, yeah, you're, they tell you're supposed to do certain thing with your neck or your or the way you or the way you tuck in, and you know. This sounds like a conspiracy. See, look, I really want to know the percentage, like people, the rate. People of, are showing these look. The bad turbulence, people are hurting, they well, breaking their necks. Hey, the that's percentages turbulence. of the, the, I'm talking about that's the more plane common. That's the reason to have a seatbelt. Yeah, but I'm that not. turbulence is more common than a. Full on, everyone dies plane crash. Like everyone I, deals with turbulence on a daily basis. I don't know, man. I've rode planes for a long time, so I don't rode through some nasty, ugly ass turbulence. I don't bounce. I don't have to bounce around a little <laughs> bit and do a little. I mean, I don't know. Like I, I'm not trying to say. Like I just think that's some. I don't know. That's you, you think they were shit. being like nitpicky and that's trying very to be like, nitpicky. They said that's yeah. soft to wear a seatbelt on the plane <laughs> for turbulence. Like, come on, bro. Ah. I understand you're an older person. No, you not the whole really, time. You don't need to be moving around but like that. But at least with takeoff and descending, man. you got to put your seatbelt. And if you're mid-flight, you're like, we'll be all right. But do you, do you think that we'll be all right, bro? You guys feel like when he came into that uh, that airplane, he was already kind of people. Uh, he was already kind of annoying the flight attendants, all that stuff. And by the time he sat down, bro, he probably they, I've they, done that they shit had, on they the had no. He you probably know, uh, he probably just came back from the club and yeah. he had no sleep. Mm-hmm. Probably fucking. Tipsy is a motherfucker. Might, might have been, might have been he rude. Go, he go to sleep, nigga. When you, certain people with their liquor, you can't wake them up. Yeah, Not that, like that. that is, well, that's true as well. At that point, miss your flight, dude. It's and so much you can't expensive. touch him like that either. You probably yeah. can't touch him at all. So you're just shouting at this nigga. He wake up like, oh, what's the, what are y'all yelling at me for? It probably also looks like he's traveling by himself. And if you're going to be in that type of situation, maybe have somebody who can help you. Nigga, I've been in that situation before. You Not to where I couldn't up. wake up. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm so but who's that fucked on? up. Is that on you or is that on the airline? It's on me. I was, I was faded, right? I was faded. I was headed to, um, I was leaving Vegas to go to Tennessee. I had to go out there for a court case. I was kind of pissed. I was drinking that day and I was just faded. And I sat next to a guy and like, I don't know, he was just kind of being weird toward me. And I told him, I'll beat your ass right here on the plane. I've never done that, bro. Like, <laughs> I was just upset. I was going through some things. So like, I was like, you know, I'll fuck you up, bro. Like right here. Like in the flight tennis, she saw it and like, she's like, hey, come here, come to the back. And I went to the back with her. She's like, here, just take this robot. She could have kicked me off. They could have kicked me off, bro. Nigga, they could have put you on no fly list. Like, hey, but she was like, here, just come to the back, man. I shot her a couple hundred bucks. I said, hey, I apologize. Like, I'm just kind of, you know what I'm saying? But shit happens with people, man. Like, Whoa. you know, you know, never know what people are on a flight for, where yeah, they're going, exactly. what they're on. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, but good. for him, but for, for Odell, like, what made him sound like a fucking retard, and I love you, OBJ, but what made you sound like a complete whole fucking retard was telling people that, I'm going to catch a private jet after this. Why didn't you do that from the beginning? Yeah. That, why, like, bro, you didn't give a fuck. Like, that could have been somebody's last, bro, getting on that plane. 
You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, shit. And you're over here redirecting and like everybody's just balling. Somebody could have been late to going to a funeral. You never know. And now they're about to miss it because mm -hmm. you over here tripping from a, a late night bender. Or like a giant business opportunity, a crazy job interview, you know, where you have to go somewhere. All like types of situations. Or important. family, bro. You're on there's like a there's a hundred plus people on that airplane for sure. So it's like he fucked up many many people's days. But hey man, people people are selfish. Bro. Yeah. I mean, I'm not just putting that on OBJ, but people are just that's people, man. People are selfish. That could have been anybody. What do you think? Just so happened it was him. What do you think will happen if he comes out with the video saying, "Hey guys, I'm sorry," but what do you, what, what, like you think the apology? Will you be know taken it's well? coming. Ain't that how it always works? Yeah, that's Especially right. if it's viral like this. Yeah. Especially if they're telling him, like, hey, man, like, you're fucking up. Like, we don't even know if we want you on a team right now. Oh, my God, let me go apologize. Like, that's what it's going to take. It's going to take somebody from the NFL or somebody say, hey, man, you need to go make a formal apology. When you play apology. with people money, they can apologize. Yeah. yeah. If 